Okay, we're talking about a method in the book that I'm about to publish. So this right here is called a solar battery. Okay, now originally solar were called solar batteries, so I just re-picked up the name. But I did something different. I took two solar cells, that's one, and this is two, and I put lights in between of them. That means that I isolated the light that's in this part right here within these two solar cells. So what we're going to do is show how much energy they consumes and how much energy it puts out. So if you look at the tag, which we will put up on the screen, um, these are 20 watts a piece. And I like to go by watts. So this is 20 watts a piece. So let's first light it up and uh, see what this looks like. I mean, you put this uh, tape around here to isolate it and it gives off a nice little glow. And uh, that was done on purpose because I could have used any kind of tape. So let's see here. <clears throat> Want to get that in frame. Okay. We're going to plug that in. And there we have it. It is now operational. Let's bring these cords. Because now that this is all lit up. And you can see that it's lit up. Let's put all these cords right up here. Okay. So we have a cord to be measured. And let's look at the meter right quick. The meter says we're drawing from the wall 23.5. I normally say 25 because sometimes it goes up to that, but those lights for right now, let's get it in clear focus. And that's wattage is 23.6 watts. And that's what those lights take. And since these solar cells are 20 watts, we have a gain. Okay. Now these solar cells can be a hundred watts or you know you can go up to five thousand watt solar cells um five hundred watt solar cell not five thousand but five hundred okay so now that we know those two things let's get our meter get our meter And I put these clamps on here not because they're convenient, because it's just easier to do on camera. So we're going to clamp one here. That way I can use both my hands. And we're going to clamp one right here. And then we're going to see if we can get a measurement. Okay. That's almost 40. Okay. So I wanted to show that because, again, people said if I put a light on there, it's just not going to work. Well, it's working. So this is a viable way to run your solar. And it's stackable. Okay. So these little knobs right here, let me get this out of the way these little knobs in the corner or the corner up here those little things are spacers these right here these are spacers I glued on there so it wouldn't pinch the cord as they lay down on the frame okay ah, and see you see uh, 35 see it, it goes up <clears throat> now of course we need to see it in the machine, okay? Because this is the open circuit. 
So let's see that. Okay, we're about to take a look at this one level of this isolinear solar that I created. Created it from fiber optic solar batteries. A lot of people haven't seen my channel. They'll see that on there. And uh, I made a little one and then I made a big one. Of course, this does work. So you can add lights to this and um, make it a smaller footprint. That was the main goal. And it runs 24 hours, but it consumes electricity. So what we do is that we have to put electricity back in our grid. So now that this is hooked up, I got one of the wires. Let's see if we can get this in focus. Sorry about the finger. Because this is what we want. Okay, there we go. It says starting voltage is too low. So let's go up here as we see. And we're going to put in that wire. Okay. And we're going to come down here and watch to see if this one little level can do anything. Let's see if we can. Oh, the other wire fell out. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now, that's going up. 13. Okay. Let's start by looking at what we have here. This is a heat sink. And we're going to be an amplifier. Well, let me say this right. We're going to build an amp booster. That is an amplifier, but not just for voltage, for amperage. And we're going to be using these MOSFETs for this. Okay, so I'm going to put up on the screen what these MOSFETs are. Let's see if we can get that zoomed in because I know it's blurry. And I'm not quite going to get the numbers in there because it's, it's going to fade out on me. But we'll put it up on the thing. So... Let's see, we're going to take some of this wire here, straighten it out a little bit, and uh, solder it. So we'll be right back. See how it's steady, it, um, it's not fluctuating like it was the last time. That's due to the batteries being full. And you see it's dropping really fast. So long as I keep these batteries up and run it to around 800 and then jump to a fresh set of batteries, then that would be over unity. Okay, 